the people of Latvia has lived in Latvia for 5,000 years at least. And uh, the period of Latvia's independence has been 22 years before World War II and 22 years after World War, after regaining of independence in 1990. So we, we look at our historical experience. My name is Andrei Spildegovich and I am the fifth Latvian ambassador in Washington DC since restoration of Latvia's independence 20 years ago. Latvia hasn't, uh, hasn't been f very fortunate uh, in terms of the geographical location. We have always been battlegrounds for uh, European wars. Uh, we were one of the major battlegrounds for World War I. We have had enormous casualties during World War II. For historians, this is unbelievable laboratory of, for research. But, but it hasn't been that, that pleasant experience for, for the Bolts. I have heard, of course, about NATO a lot during, during my childhood in the 70s and 80s. And uh, that time I was living in a Soviet Latvia which was uh, on the front line of the great Cold War conflict. Since we have joined NATO, climate in the region has improved dramatically. We used to have rough relations with Russia, with our big neighbor. Since we have joined, relations uh, have improved quite, quite significantly. Our presidents have met a year ago, our ministers are meeting, uh, the trade is rising. NATO has brought uh, this stability, predictability to the Baltic Sea region. I'm from the generation which believes in this project of Europe whole and free and at peace. And, and we hope that this summit will, will be another milestone in, in the evolution of this concept. We have benefited a lot from enlargement. We have gained a lot from membership. We don't want to be selfish. I, uh, I turned 40 a, a year ago, and uh, I belong to this uh, generation which spent half of their life in the Cold War. I, I was a child of the Cold War. And uh, the last 20 years were uh, living, living in another world. I, I, live, I lived through the restoration of the country. I witnessed uh, removal of the foreign troops, and I saw how, how the country has uh, reclaimed back their place on the world map, how the country progressed, telescope development from a captive nation into, into the full-fledged uh, mainstream European nation. As my grandfather used to say, We've been under foreign domination for 700 years, but our songs remain joyful. <laughs>